Okay, everybody. So here we've got two points. We're going to find the slope in two ways. We're going to graph the points and draw a line through it and then get the rise over the run. We're also going to use the slope formula, right? So I'd like to start with plotting them actually first, just so we can really see what we're doing here. So please, everybody, just press pause on the video, plot the two points and draw a line through it. Just do that much and then we'll go from there. Well done. So we've got negative 3, 3. So x is negative 3, y is 3. That's there. And we have 3, negative 1. x is 3, y is negative 1. That's that point there. So now we'll draw, draw a line through them. And now I want you all to write this down. Rise over run equals rise over run and this is the slope equals what over what and you're just looking for like we have two perfect points the two were given right and um, so to get from one to the other we'll just use these two points so to get from one to the other i want you guys to go across until you're above the other one and then go down so press pause on the video, and from that, what do you think your rise, your run is? That's the distance across, and what is your rise? That's the distance down. So just calculate the distance across, and then the distance down, and then press play on the video and check your answer. Awesome. So, so to get, so when we go across, we actually go over one, two, three, four, five, six units. And then when we go down, we went down one, two, three, four, negative four. So our run is going across, and that was six. Our rise is going down, that's negative four. And we can simplify that. So everybody, please simplify that fraction. Two thirds. Right, so it's negative over positive, negative. And and we get, you know, 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 6 goes three times, so it's negative 2 thirds, and that's our slope. Okay with that? But we yes. need to also use the slope formula, which is slope m is y2 minus y1, difference between the y's over x2 minus x1, the difference between the x's. What's all this x1, y1 business? This is the first point, x1, y1. This is the second point, x2, y2. The ones and twos don't mean anything. It's just like it's indicating that this is the first point and this is the second point. Uh, when you use the slope formula, I need you all to do this. Do this. Go parenthesis minus parenthesis over parenthesis minus parenthesis. That'll help you not make a mistake with your negative numbers. So I want everyone to... Um, Write this out with the formula, use parentheses, and then we plug in our numbers. And I'll go this far with you guys. So y2 minus y1. y2 is negative 1, so that goes there, negative 1. y1 is 3, that goes there, right? x2 is 3, and x1 is negative 3. So it's the difference between the y's, this one minus this one, over difference between the x's, this one minus this one. So please press pause on the video, everybody, and calculate this and see what you get. So I hope you've all tried that. On the top, we get negative one minus three. I'm in debt by a dollar. I spend three dollars. Now I'm in debt by four, negative four. On the bottom, it's three, take away negative three. Three, cancel a debt of negative three. That's like adding three dollars. Negative, negative makes plus, plus. So you get three plus three, six. And where have we seen that before? So In our rise and run. Right, that's exactly what happened here. And that's exactly what's happening with this formula, is when we subtract the y's, we're getting this distance here. When we subtract the x's, x2 minus x1, we're getting the distance between the x's. That's exactly what's happening, right? And, of course, that simplifies, as we know, to negative two-thirds. Okay with that? Yes.